Hey sports fans, it's Hip Hoppa here, and you're watching Hoppa's Hip Tips. And uh, it is Friday, baby, and you know what that means. New Bloods. So let's start the dance. Let's talk, let's talk. Here are the first four characters of the year, so we can return to battle more trained than ever. On the menu, the bloody Montana, Mr. Dark. Ravenbot, the perfect junks robot for your techno nights. Kwai, Kwai Liang, the Epicurean Frozen. Tortuga, the Miraculous Piranhas Fishing. The Miraculous Piranhas Fishing? Okay. Awesome. Five new missions have been added. EFG, EFC changes will be announced in the afternoon together with the new ban list. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Well, I guess we'll have another uh, video later today then. So, let's get to it, shall we? Let's go find, um, let's go find White Dragon 11's awesome preset list here. Where are you, White Dragon 11? There you is. Awesome. He's on page three. All right. Top of page three. Let's check these suckers out, shall we? All righty. So we got uh, Kwai Liang is the, um, he's a four star. Let's see, he's a four star. Oops, sorry, go back. So he's, a, he's the he's the common of the bunch, four star common, and um, he's an eight five with confidence damage plus four. Wow, holy cow, that's great. Um, so basically, he has an eight. Oh. Oh, 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 he's frozen, isn't he? Okay, I thought he was a Fang P for a second. I'm like, what the F? Um, okay, but he's a frozen. So, you can either play him with confidence as an 8-9. And remember, a 9 damage card can, can Fury KO with Timber. The leader Timber. Uh, so keep that in mind. So he's an 8-9 with, with confidence, or... Uh, he can be a 10-7 with revenge. So, that's pretty cool. That's a... Uh, that's, that's a... Big... Big hunk of a card. Uh, especially for a 4-star. So, uh, that's that's a pretty nice... Um, I gotta say, that's a pretty nice 4-star. I mean, a nice common. Nice common, I like it. Alright, next. We've got Rave Bot. Uh, a 9-2 Junks with Stop Ability. So, um, this is one of those pesky little Rave Bot. That's nice. So, this is one of those pesky little, you know, two-star SOA cards. Um, which are always a pain in the butt. Like, uh, like Mala. And, um, who's the other one? Mala, Guliag, um, you know, Comanche. There are a bunch of them like this now. And, uh, he's obviously, um, he's obviously Cubic's little brother here. Um, they have the same ability. But, uh, this guy's a nine power. So that's pretty dang awesome for a little card like that, for a two star, well, oh, he's a three star, isn't he, he's a three star, okay, that makes a little more sense, uh, but still, you know, nine, nine power, I like the nine power, uh, he's a 17 attack standing still, and, um, I don't know, I, I don't really like the two damage, though, two damage on a three star is like, eh, I don't know, not sure I like the two damage, but that's just me. 
And now we have the biggie of the bunch, Mr. Dark. So he is a 5 star, rare, 8 6, support minus 2 damage, min 2. That's interesting. So he's a support card. So that's, um, so that's a, so basically if he has, if he's in a mono Montana deck, he's got, um, what, minus eight damage, minus eight opponent damage, min two. That's cray, dude. That can be very nice. After being hunted down for months by the Sentinels, Dark finds himself cornered in a geist warehouse where a gun battle breaks out. The place where he's hiding goes up in flames, and Dark is blasted out of the building by the highly flammable products all around him. Although the thug seems to, be, to have vanished, this doesn't put anyone's mind at rest, so the geist increased their lab security, and the Sentinels are on high alert for any isolated reprisals from this individual with a fearsome reputation. Yes, yeah, so that's Mr. Dark. Um, he's basically like a, I guess, a replacement for Jimmy, I think, seems like. Um, he's more powerful than Jimmy, obviously, but uh, they, they kind of do the same thing. So that's cool, very cool. And last but not least is the other uncommon card here. And that is Tortuga, <laughs> the giant, the giant turtle here. Um, he is a four star, eight five defeat, recover two pills out of three, so that's kind of cool. Um, you know, piranhas are all about pill manipulation. Although, honestly, like back in the day, they were all. I mean, before there was recover pills, they were all like you know, plus pills cards, which, if you're not, if you're not aware, uh, there are two types of pill manipulation, okay, and they kind of work in opposite ways, so, um, you know, plus pills cards, pills that, you know, plus, well, plus pills cards and minus pills cards are ones that give you, you know, pills or take off pills for winning around. And uh, piranhas back in the day were all about that, and that uh, that encourages a more aggressive play style because you can like overpill, um, you know, you can overpill to get the um, oh, there's baby tortuga, so you can overpill to get the um, you basically overpill and overpill and overpill and just like you know aggressively overwhelm your enemy. Whereas um, now they're getting a lot of uh, a lot of what pill recovery cards, you know, as well as cards like um, you know Ake Akab and um, Bonnie Legend, who are you know, you know defeat plus pills cards, and that and that creates a completely different dynamic, which is. Um, which is much, it's much less aggressive. It's basically, you know, like Vortex, you do a lot of little probing attacks to start, um, you know, and if you lose, you get your pills back, and then, you know, you try to fork on round three. Um, I'm not sure how well forking on round three would work for, um, for Piranhas, because they don't really have a lot of uh, high damage cards, but it might, it might work. Um, you know, obviously Tortuga is deals a decent amount of damage. Fished out of the sea by the piranhas, the giant turtle owes her life to the pirates. She came from an unreachable place, a place believed to be beyond the water wall and opposite the Aquanus door, where the currents are inversed. Indeed, only a collection of unheard meteor meteorological conditions was able to unleash a storm of such magnitude to uncover this as yet unknown species. The pirates know that these turtle islets hail from much farther afield than anything they know or understand, and they're determined to profit from their miraculous catch. So there we go. Um, 
I wonder. One thing I have trouble uh, determining on these new bloods is whether or not they have like a um, a semi evo form. Um, So I just thought I'd scan the comments really quick and see, but it doesn't look like, I don't know, it doesn't look like there are any semi-evos this week, but may, but you never know. Um, at any rate, the only thing we can really do now, until the ban list comes out, is we can look at the, at, uh, the missions. So, let's check out their missions. Okay, so, uh, those are weekly legend missions. Let's see here. Dark Man. So, win ten fights by finishing with a KO from Mr. Dark. Um... You know, again, he's in, he's what, an 8-6, so that shouldn't be too difficult, and obviously, you know, people aren't going to want to pill a whole lot against him, because he reduces their damage so much, um, and he's a min, he's a min 2 DR, too, so that's like, holy cow, that's crazy, and a minus 8 min 2, that makes him great for, um, for T3, T2, and uh, EFC. So he's like an all-around badass. Uh, Slade's Killer. Block 60 damage with Mr. Dark. Oh, so that's his other mission. Okay. And, uh, you know, obviously, if you have him at full strength, he can block a lot of damage. Um, of course, uh, you know, that mission's going to be easier if you do it in, you know, like a T3 or T2 environment. But uh, you can still do it in EFC and, um, you know, get it done in a relatively decent amount of time. Out, outcast, inflict 75 damage with Kwai Liang. You know, and again, uh, you know, if you have him with confidence, he's an 8-9. And if you have him with revenge, he is, uh, he deals 7 damage, so... Inflicting 75 damage shouldn't be too difficult with him. Um, uh, root, rootast, rootast, hal, rootast hallow favorite pet. Okay, whatever. Win 15 rounds with Tortuga. Um, and again, Tortuga is what, a big 8-6? Um, let me just go back and see really quickly. I forget sometimes. Yes, okay, so an 8-5. Tortuga is an 8-5. Um, and so... So winning, um... What is it? Was it winning rounds? Uh, yeah, win 15 rounds with Tortuga. So he's an, he's an 8 power with stop bonus. That's, uh, you can win 15 rounds pretty easily. That would probably be the easiest, actually, to win those rounds in, um, in tourney mode, because it goes so quickly. Um, but you know you could also you could also do it in EFC or wherever. And finally, we have Oons Tunes Tunes inflict fifty damages with Rave Bot. And that's uh, at two damage a pop. That's going to take a little while for sure. Um, you could speed it up if you play in tourney mode, of course. Um, but yeah, that's probably that's probably going to be the most difficult mission out of all of these, I would assume. And I don't know what the prize is, but hopefully
hopefully they'll make it worth it. Anyway, uh, that's really it, guys. I I wish there was more to talk about here, but um, those are your new bloods: Kwai Liang, Ravebot, Mister Dark, and Tortuga. So, um, pretty cool cards. Um, yeah, I like them all. They're all they've all got good stuff going for them. And hopefully later today we will um we'll get to review the changes to EFC mode. And uh but for now, it's time to buy our own pack, baby. So let's go do it. Gonna buy a new blood pack, baby. Yeah yeah. And uh Doink. Congratulations, I just got five cards. Serlina, oh great. That's not cool. Lagara, that's a good one. I mean, one I don't have anyway. Kimba, uh, we got Alpha Dragon, nice. And oh, we got Kwai Liang, there we go. We got one of the new bloods, so that's pretty sweet. So, there we are. That is today's New Bloods. Thank you for joining me. Uh, come back later today when we can talk about the, uh, the new... how the New Bloods affect EFC. And uh, I will see you then, guys. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe and tell all your friends. And ring the bell. Love you guys. Hey, guys. We're back. Um, they got this um, Season 22 EFC announcement out quicker than I expected. My... Uh, my New Bloods video had just finished uh, like processing, I guess, and then this came out. So I'm going to tack this on. So I'm tacking this on to the end here. Um, so uh, weekly Z Palace top 10 card reward is Mr. Dark. That's, I don't, that's not really relevant to most people. Um, but let's talk about, so Z Palace in. Uh, we have Ector and Akab, Akab, Akab. We have Victor and Akab in for uh, Lagertha and Lisbeth CR. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know what to make of that exactly. I know a lot of people were using Lagertha. Uh, I I personally didn't don't really like the card that much. Um, I don't think. Power exchange is a really great ability, personally, but, um, so, you know, I don't know if she's better to, better than Ector or not, um, I kind of, I kind of like Ector, I think he's decent, but, um, but Lisbeth CR, um, f for Akab is definitely a nerf for, um, for Piranhas. I'd much rather use Lisbeth CR than a cob personally. Um, I don't like a cob six power, but you know, I don't know. Again, it's kind of it's probably it's it's maybe personal preference. So I don't know about that. We'll see. Uh, then we have Victor Van Dort and Tuco back in Z Palace, and. Um, who did they lose? Baba. Oh. Wait a second. Okay. Sorry, let's go back for a second. So Piranhas, Piranhas get Ector and Akab, and they lose Lagertha, Lisbeth CR, and Baba, or Baba as the case may be. Um, so they lose three cards. That's interesting. Um, oh, of course, because because they got the turtle, right? They got Tortuga. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, they lose Lagertha, Lisbeth, CR, and Baba, Baba, for Ector, Akab, and uh, Tortuga. I don't know. That, that seems like, I guess depending on your play style, you might like Lisbeth, CR. I kind of like Lisbeth, CR more than Akab, but Overall, I think it's kind of 
sixes. Um, at any rate, <coughs> excuse me, we have Victor Van Dort and Tuco back in uh, Z Palace, and they lose Consuelo and Adele. That's interesting, I guess, because um, Consuelo is a brand new card. So apparently she was too powerful for Z Palace, and they took her out. Um, she was a pretty powerful card. Um, some high plus pills. And Adele really isn't that amazing. But, um, but Tuco and Victor Van Dort back in, that's, um, I don't know. I'd say, yeah, Victor Van Dort for Consuelo is probably, she, she basically replaced him, and I guess they realized she was more powerful than he is. So they brought him back. And, uh, Tuco for Adele is, is decent. That's a that's a buff, I think. I don't think Adele was used all that much. Um, and Tuco, you know, with his huge power manipulation can stuff a lot of cards. Alright, so then we have Numar and Nathan back in. I can't remember who Nathan is. I think he's let's see. Is Nathan... Nathan's a cop, isn't he? Let me see here. Oh, he's All-Stars. Okay. Who's Nathan? Oh, there he is. Okay, Nathan. That guy. I don't ever use him, really, so... Um, not saying he's not a decent card, but I just don't use him that often. So, uh, okay, so Numar... Uh, Uluwatu Loot gets... I'm sorry, gets back Numar for Eddie CR. Was Eddie CR in Z Palace? Holy cow. I didn't know that. Alright, um, I think that was, I think Eddie CR was probably deemed too powerful for Z Palace. I'm surprised that he, that he was in there. Um, so that makes sense that they would remove him and put Numar back in. I think that's a little bit of a nerf. But, um, but I mean, that way you don't have Eddie CR competing against, um, like, Nal what's her name? Uh, Liana Legend, right, too. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Um, next, we have Nathan in for, um, for All-Stars. And they lose Hans Spinner. Okay, that's a big nerf. That's a big nerf for all stars. Um, Hans Spinner definitely the better card. So next we have Martha back in for the Sentinels, and they lose Mandy. Um, I think that's a buff for Sentinels personally. I think Martha's a great card. Mandy was. Okay, but, you know, she's got a conditional ability. She's, eh, not really my cup of tea. Um, so I think Sentinel's got a little buff there. Bangers get Fix It back. He's a he's definitely a solid all-around card. And they lose uh, Clifford, which uh, nobody, nobody uses Clifford. So... That's definitely a buff for um, a buff for bangers for sure. And um, what else have we got here? Uh, cutie nightmares get cutie back, and um, what they lose no one really? Is that right? Oh, they lose proffer man. There he is. Okay. So they lose Proffer Man. Um, I don't know. That's... Eh. I think that's probably a buff for Nightmare. I'm not a big fan of Cutie or Proffer Man, necessarily. Um, you know, obviously Proffer Man has better KO potential, uh, but Cutie has her... 
um, can make a big life gap. So I'd say that's probably a buff for um, for Nightmare, even though I, I really don't use either of those cards much. And uh, last here we've got PR Balthazar for in for riots. He's he's a nice card. And they lose Norma, who was kind of a crap five star. She's not that great. So um, so yeah, I like that. Um, that's definitely a buff for riots. So. Uh, the other ones here we have, so we have Lee Moon leaving, and Arlene. Who's Arlene? Oh, that's that's Frozen, right? Okay, yeah. So uh, Frozen loses Arlene and gets um, Kiai Kiai Liang, uh, the new guy. Um, I'd say that's. I don't know, that's sixes. Arlene's an okay five star. Um, the new guy is, uh, he's actually pretty decent, I don't know. I kind of like him over Arlene, but maybe that's just me. And then um, Junks lose Lee Moon and get uh, the amazing frigging robot new robot guy, uh, the 9-2 um, stop opponent ability card. So that's definitely a win for uh, for Junks. Now what I'm not seeing here is um, what I'm not seeing here is, the, is any, Mont any change in Montana's. So is I wonder if Let's go back here for a second. I wonder if he's uh, banned, if he got a ban. So Mr. Dark, let's see here. No, he's allowed up to Z Palace. So I don't know why Montana didn't lose anybody uh, for Mr. Dark. Obviously he pushed somebody out, but um, then again, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the story is there, um, but obviously he's a great Z Palace card. Let's, let's just look at this out thing again. So we got Lagertha, Elizabeth, Beba, Consuelo, Adele, Eddie, Cr, Leon, Hans, Spinner, Mandy, Clifford, Lee Moon, Arlene. Yeah, I don't see a I don't see a Montana there. So they didn't lose anybody, but they got. Um, they got Mr. Dark. I imagine they did lose somebody. Um, they must have just left him off, off the list here. Let's just, let me just look at the comments really quickly and just see. No, nope, there are only three comments. Um, okay. Well, whatevs. Um, so leaders reloaded. They actually changed some leaders this time. That's interesting. They haven't done that for a while. Um, Eklor, Bridget, Mr. Big Duke, Solomon, and Timber all got changes. And then uh, Scott Legend got reloaded. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, Chaos Dragon says that Scott Legend changed from a 7-5 victory or defeat plus 1 life to a 7-4 victory or defeat plus 2 life. So that's interesting. That's just like, that's just a tiny little tweak. Um, which, I mean, so, it doesn't change his upper limit of, like, a six-life gap. Uh, that stays the same, but he's, he's a little stronger. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know that that really is a huge change, because it's victory or defeat, so... I guess, I, I guess, okay, I guess it helps him on a defeat a little more is all. You get an extra life um, on a defeat. So, yeah, that's, I'd say that's an overall buff. Like I said, it doesn't change him offensively, but it does give him a little more defense, so that's pretty sweet. 
uh, Eklor drops, let's see, from a minimum 3 to a minimum 2 on her ability, so that's pretty, that's a nice buff for her. Um, wow, okay. And then Mr. Big Duke drops from 9, oh, he goes up from 9.6 base stats to 9.7. That's crazy. Holy cow. He was pretty tough before. Now he's even tougher. Solomon also uh, going up from an 8.7 to an 8.8 8 base stat. Um, he needed that. I don't think anyone, I, I hardly ever see Solomon played. Uh, he just doesn't. He just doesn't provide that great an ability, to be honest. So raising him up to an 8-8, eight, eight, yeah, he might get some play. Might not, I don't know. Timber from 6-8 to 7-7, seven, seven. oh dang. That's huge. That is huge. Holy cow, Timber's been 6 power, like, from the beginning from as long as I can remember. And that's kind of what balanced him. And now he's a 7-7? Seven, seven? I mean, he's well, he's a 7-8, basically, with his with his boost. Um, yeah, holy cow. That's, I definitely think we're, you're going to be seeing a lot more timbers now. So uh, watch out for that. Bridget goes from 8-6, plus 1 life per turn, 3 life recovered total over the course of a match, to 8-5, team victory or defeat plus 1 life, 4 life recovered in total over the course of a match. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. That, um... That's really interesting. I would say... I don't know. Wow, that's... It's definitely a buff, but it's a buff... Um, it's more than just a... On the surface, it's, you know, it's a buff of plus one life recovered over the, over the course of a match, and she does one less damage. But the fact is, now, every one of your cards, I mean, your other three cards... Well, and, and her. All four of your cards now have def uh, victory or defeat plus one life. So that, um, that could be really good. That could be really, really good, actually. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, So, yeah, I like that. It gives all your cards a safety net a little bit um, without changing Bridget from her original, what she did. Um, yeah, wow, that is a really cool change. I like that a lot, actually. Um, bravo on that one, staff. That was a, that was a very good move. Um, okay, so there you go. Honestly, I I hardly ever use leaders. Um, I don't know why. I've, I've never really been into leaders much. They just, they're just kind of cheese, I guess. They seem cheesy to me. Um, and, you know, plus I use a lot of split decks, so using a leader in a split deck just kind of like, messes everything up, um, you know, they're okay in a, in a, they're better in a mono deck, I would say, but even then, I just, you know, I've hardly, I hardly ever use leaders, you know, maybe that's an oversight on my part, I don't know, um, but I honestly, and I honestly don't really see leaders that often in ELO, uh, in EFC, maybe we'll see more now, I don't know. Maybe we'll see more Timbers and more Bridgets. Uh, I don't think, I really don't think people are, are going to use Solomon still. It's just, I don't know. Um, maybe more, maybe more of Mr. Big Duke. Maybe more Eklor. I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, there we go. Those are the changes. And, um, 
Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything here. Um, so yeah, overall good changes. Um, and someone someone was telling me that uh, someone was telling me that Mr. Dark is perhaps the Montana big card, the big OP card for Montana. I don't think so, um, especially based well. Based on the fact that he's a support card, I don't. I don't think. Um, based on the fact that he's a support card and the fact that he only de deals six damage, I just don't think he's going to be Montana's big card. Um, also, the fact that he's not banned in Z Palace, um, since every other big card that's come out recently has been like immediately banned to like yet. EFC Tower or below. Anyway, there you go, folks. We got new bloods. We got new changes in EFC, uh, Z Palace, anyway. Um, but uh, I'm still waiting for the real changes coming on the 21st, supposedly. So we'll see about that. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. This has been Hoppa's Hip Tips. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell, tell all your friends, and uh, if you're so inclined, join my guild, Hip Hop Messiahs, because hip hop needs a savior, and that's what we're doing. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me, and I will see you uh, later today with some hot EFC action. Bye now.